and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Sultai Treachery. So we didn't do very well with this deck the last time that we played it, even though we did really well the first couple of times. But as I told y'all before, I was going to bring it back on Friday and try it with the couple of changes that we made. So we struggled against the aggro decks last time. And so we're putting in an Assassin's Trophy in the main deck over like another quasi duplicate plus an Assassin's Trophy over here in the sideboard because we saw that three mana Soren and then Vivian Arcbow Ranger being played on three mana. Those those Planeswalkers were just were really difficult to deal with and just they just kind of snowballed um, and took over the game. So we need we need a little bit of Planeswalker removal. So that's why we got a couple of Assassin's Trophies in here. But yeah, that's that's about it as far as changes from the last time. I had a second Immortal Sun in the sideboard that we never really used that much. So I'm taking out that that Immortal Sun for an extra negate, where negate can still be good against control like Immortal Sun is. And also I want negate against like Mono Red with all their burn spells and everything. I kind of wanted a second negate, so we got that in here also. Hey Telstar, thanks for that resub there. So we're gonna play a little ranked here with Soulty Treachery. Um, as I said a, a couple of times ago, this is like my rank up deck of choice. So let's let's uh, get out of gold. Um, we've played a little bit of ranked so far this month, and I almost out of gold, and we'll keep on going from there on our road to mythic. Sunday, of course, we're going to be doing a lot more rank up stuff. We'll have rank up Sunday. Um, but then besides that, today we got a couple of donation decks, and then we're also going to play some brawl, this Throne of Eldraine courtside brawl we're gonna give that a try but first we're playing five matches with sultai treachery see how it goes here yeah no more land war elves in three weeks but we get the gilded goose so we know that that's going to be the replacement for land war elves in the rare slot not the common slot though and you also have to kind of jump through hoops. You got to get a lot of food in play. To have to have a food to sacrifice each time to add that mana. If only we had green mana, this would be a reasonable hand. If only we had mana, this would be a reasonable hand. I can't keep this on the draw, can I? Well, we get two two draw steps for a green source like let's say i just put this agent of treachery back on the bottom you were on the draw on the play certainly not but we have two draws for looking for a green hmm you think this is too risky so we got four five six seven eight ten thirteen fifteen we only got 15 green sources That is pretty risky. I know, but that that's the thing. We have like the double risen reef, so like if we get there, we can actually like pull ahead. Like is it so obviously it's really risky, but is are we going to five? Like is five is it is it a better chance that we draw green and then can win from there, or is it a better chance that our five card hand wins? I don't know. Okay, let's see how this works. So elemental, mirror, we're a little slow here. There we go. There's only 24 lands in this deck.
Yeah, we only have 24 lands because we have um, 11 mana creatures. And then, of course, Risen Reef that helps you hit your land drops and everything, too. It kind of looks like they're all in on this Omnath. That land war off was a really good draw. Be able to give us a chump blocker here. So I could have attacked with Risen Reef for one, but that one point isn't really going to matter too much. I'd rather have it back just in case. Um, I'll take this, thank you. Well, that worked out really well. Probably another Omnath. They, did, they just didn't play anything last turn. It's probably another Omnath. Or two. Blood of Tears. Hmm. I really don't like the... The, the flashing of the hand thing, how... I really wish they would fix that. Infanti with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. Thanks so much for the support. I appreciate that. And Ant-Man also. Hello. Stream's kicking off. Amazing. With all the support here. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ant-Man. Thanks, Infanti. All right. So if they're going Flood of Tears, that means they're probably playing omniscience also so that's like their combo um agent of treachery is definitely worse against flood of tears certainly so is hostage taker i don't know if that means that we shouldn't play it at all i think i want the plague mare i don't think i want a mortal sun Moral Sun's kind of slow. They're, they're just going Flood of Tears. I mean, I guess if they're playing Flood of Tears, they got to be playing Tamiyo. And Moral Sun shuts that down. Denriel. Thanks for the support. There we go. Hey, Original Q. Good day. No, yeah, like when they're targeting things, but like how how like they can quickly target the hand like really you know like over and over and it just it's like the hand is just flashing over and over again i really don't like that so do we get a, so we get a 30 second warning now right yeah okay that's that's that noise there is a 30 second warning um anyway i think we'll just go with this is tamio is tamio can be a problem so we'll we'll see how big of a problem though. We got the agent of treachery still to where we can steal a Tamiyo. Yeah, all the subs today. Yeah, it's definitely definitely a problem for somebody that has epilepsy. Like see how like the, the hand like flashes really quick? I don't like that at all. I don't mind, see, like, that's, that's just really is a problem. I don't mind them, like, the things on the battlefield, how they show up. But I do think that 
the hand like that's that that is really uh, unnecessary that really is unnecessary like whether they're looking at you know like mousing over cards in their hand Your Aqua with Plague Mare is pretty nice. Alright, that's too bad. Neoforming away that card is what I needed to do. Okay, we, so we get that one. Let's get a couple of your rocks out here. Now your rock tribal deck. Whoa, blind. Getting that gifted sub hype going. Thank you so much, blind. Santa blind, gifting five subs out. And getting us to a sub goal already. First match of the day. Wow. Okay. So I, I guess getting Risen Reef is the best thing I can do. Yeah, I think it's Neoform into Risen Reef. And draw three. Oh, man. Do we get to triple Chupacabra? Hopefully, no Flood of Tears or anything like that. Hopefully, we get to triple Chupacabra. I mean, it looks good for us, but they got seven cards in hand to my one. Like a Zoe! Oh, I'm going to have to refresh my stream. Oh, Call Sign Splash also! Call sign splash, thank you so much. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Alright, so we only get so that gets us to twelve. Alright, I had to refresh the chat, so sorry if you said something above the hypos I just put in. There we go. Ugh. I only have enough black sources for one of these. when I come back. Ah, uh, no, your ox. Gotcha. It probably kills my Risen Reef. Yep. So this game goes, like, real long. This is, 
It's not look. It's not great for me. They have the card advantage that I don't. Double choop. It's not really worth keeping the card in hand because if they flood a tears, I'm going to want to have as much mana as possible. Stop having so many Omnaths. so nice today. Thank you so much, Plumber. Cheers. Thank you. Well, shifting Ceratops having protection from blue means that attacking with Yurok doesn't really do anything for us. So we have ran, we have ran out of gas. And with the Omnath Risen Reef combination over there, we look really far behind. I guess keeping the land in hand means that if I draw Agent of Treachery, I can steal Omnath and then play a land and draw a card. All right, well, looks like our opponent's got this one. Drawn an extra 17 cards than we have. Just land again. We were just... Draw land, draw land, draw land over and over. Get out of my way. Oh, burn it. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Is that the best that Chandra can do? Just kill a Chupacabra and two Llanowar Elves? Is that that valuable? Was that valuable? Just do two damage to a Yurok? Gotta have a Coil? Okay. Thank you so much, Plumber. Glad to have you here. Hmm. We saw multiple shifting ceratopses. All right, let's get this extra troop in here. I think I do need Immortal Sun. So yeah, I'm going to go troop instead of Plague Mare. And then... Maybe don't need trophy. Yeah, probably don't need trophy. We're Jundin up next. After we play five matches, then we'll be Jundin with the Jund midrange. And then the Throne of Eldraine Brawl, we are also playing the Jund deck for that as well. No, I don't like scary movies. I am not. Um, I am not a scary movie fan. 
I, I don't like getting scared. All right, come on, deck, get us that land. Well, perfect hand for them. Turn two, Risen Reef. Ugh, we cannot follow it up with turn three for us, though. Real fast hand for them. I'm just a little too slow. This is really unfortunate. It's just a perfect curve. They had a perfect curve, and I'm just too slow. Hmm. Well, I, mean, I can't even, I can't even block the other ceratops. Wow, what a hand. Turn two Reef, turn three Omnath, turn four Ceratops Haste, turn five Ceratops Haste. Give me just another turn or two. Definitely regret losing that game two, though. Hey, Narcost. That game two looked really good for us for a little bit, but we just flooded out. That was one that if we just drew like one more good spell, I think we'd get there, but we didn't get there. Dang. All right, well, we're 0 1. All right, well, Nexus is not a good matchup for us, as we've talked about before with the deck. Because we are a slow deck. In general. This, this, this could be a scape ship deck though too. It's not Nexus. It's likely Nexus, but it's not 100%. It could be a scape ship deck. Tap the wrong creature there. Obviously, the leaf can should be a ta tapped so that the uh, land war can attack. I guess we'll just play the land other land war off now. I think it's better to quasi duplicate Riz Risen Reef than Cavalier of Thorns. 
We need to find, like, agent of treachery to steal lands, I guess. Um, Immortal Sun isn't bad. Trophy is, like, my best removal spell. It's the only thing that kills an enchantment game one. So we have five, six, seven, eight. So if we attack, we're attacking for eight down to 11. So if I do copy Risen Reef, I don't have lethal next turn. And I guess doing Cavalier Thorns means we could present lethal. So actually, let's, let's do that. Not a fan of the quasi-duplicate? Well, it did did give us just a free spell here, you know, because we just milled it over with Cavalier Thorns. So it gave us a free spell. Yeah, we'll take that. So we'll be able to steal t two things next turn. We got some really good pressure here. Yeah, agent steals lands, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, we have a little bit more more lands than our opponent does. Just a little bit. Sweet. We were going to have a little bit better shot there after sideboarding also with being able to put in another... You know, like we were, we were going to be able to have like counter magic and, and everything. Um, combo decks not winning game one. Like that's, that's like the game that, that they really should win. Is, is there a sound bug going on right now? Hey, Rogobop. Sub, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that sub there. All right, looks like I do need... Looks like I do need one more green source in here, the one I got. Is this, this is like a perfect hand, except for we don't have green mana. Gosh, this is slow. No, I'm not cutting a Paradise Druid. The two drops are important with the Neoform plan. But I, I do think that one drowned catacomb should be a woodland cemetery instead. Is that right? Yeah. No, because that, that takes away a blue source and adds a, a green. I want to take away a black source and add a green. So that means drowned catacomb needs to turn into Hinterland Harbor. How many black do we have? One, two, three, seven.
Please, no Clarion. Tick up. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more Darn like it. it. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Something they were going to tick up so we get to cast Cavalier last turn. No, we have Breeding Pools and Temple of Mysteries also, so we don't we don't have all four Hinterland Harbors in here. I don't like seeing that. There we go. I like seeing that. That's good. If you wish to keep an open mind. No. That's bad. Just the trick for this. Yeah, I don't... Basically, there's nothing that I... So the question is, why, why not Cavalier of Night? There's there's not... like One, there's not, not really any cards that I want to play. Um, that I want Cavalier of Night instead. Uh, but two, I really don't want the triple black. Yeah, our, our deck's a lot more blue-green. Um, I'm, I'm making the double black exception for Chupacabra, because that card's really important with the removal. But I really don't want triple black. So... The, it would have to so Cavalier of Night would have to be incredibly good for me to play it at triple black. My mind needs a rest. All right, so I should pr I should play around Spell Pierce. What's up, Riot Vale? Thanks for resubbing. Sub number 14 on the day. My pet card in standard right now. What would I consider my pet card? Like, are you talking about like for for standard right now, or just in general? Like, just in all of Magic, I guess. Let's try this. In standard right now. In all of Magic, it would be Corsair Crufix. Pet card in standard right now. Like Nicol Bolas Dragon God, maybe? That's up there. Uh, like... Um... Thing like uh, the black white Soren. Now what? Uh, the black white Soren, play crafter, resplendent angel, Lyra Dawnbringer, Angrath, the flame chained. There's some others that just come to mind. Definitely 
Crucible of Worlds, Wayward Swordtooth. For sure. The best Planeswalker in Standard is this card right here. Because and because of the top line. Playing at Let's instant speed is down. so incredibly valuable. You need to take and a time out. Not being able to do that is is devastating. That's how it was meant to happen. So yeah, we our opponent should have let us target that first. So many good cards. Well, I guess I guess I did in the wrong order. I need to choose the card I want to draw first. I wanted to draw Moldratha first and have Agent of Treachery second. I honestly don't even know if we really need the negates. So there is there a sound bug going on right now? I I think I can hear one. It's like a little bit underneath the music though for me. So against a removal heavy deck, the clones aren't as valuable. Like your mirror image and spark double. I guess we Yeah, Chupacabra's still fine. They make they get like what, like the 4-4 four, four token with with Sarkin a lot. Play one Chupacabra. Maybe we should have more. I guess Hostage Shaker is probably better than Chupacabra and easier to cast. Yeah, give me these Hostage Shakers. I like Hostage Shaker quite a bit. Because Hostage Shakering our own stuff is, is valuable as well. It's the sound of the timer fuse. Okay. There you go, Captain Narsa. You got your, you got a three minutes of fairy for paper for your Derevi deck. Man, that card must be really mean in Commander. Hey team. Yeah, we got some fun decks today. Got some good ones. Got a couple of good-looking donation decks, and then we are playing some brawl to finish the day out. So this hand's not very good against deafening Clarion. Things of beauty. <laughs> it 
it's better to be able to play Leaf Kin Druid here so that we can uh, have Agent of Treachery for next turn, but we really can't because of Clarion. What's up, feature? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I guess I didn't play a land. I should have put that into my hand and then shocked in and then sacked another Leaf Kindred and gr grabbed another Risen Reef. Good. I am easy. I'll make use of that later. Oh. Oh wow. Thanks, good brother. That is really kind of you, thank you. Take this Karn, thank you. Do I get Assassin's Trophy or your rock? Wow, they'd rather rather I have Assassin's Trophy than your rock the desecrated. Killing the agent of treachery. Too scared that I'll clone it. Meditate and prepare. There are so meditate. Um, let's get your rock. Decisive action is needed. Got any lands in here? Nope, no lands. So we'll probably find some lands. Got any lands in here? There we go. There's some lands. Trophy's not bad. Sure, we'll keep the trophy. I guess we'll have to go discard now. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have kept the trophy. Hmm. So yeah, hostage taker could could hostage take our, our agent of treachery. Are they killing Karn or putting us down to eight? All right, good. Glad they're killing Karn. Not putting us down to eight. I am proud. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Hone your prowess. More Sarkins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, right. I guess we have an extra mana. I'll take your Sarkin and your Sahili. Thank you. Hmm. That looks good enough for me for a turn. 
You can have a turn now. Oh, I didn't. I didn't activate Sarkin. Right. I was just thinking about like the Sahili. Like I was like, all right, no reason to activate the Sahili. No reason to activate the Planeswalker. But we stole two things. Oh well. I think we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> think we'll be just fine. <laughs> yeah, the, the double yoink. No, I have no Cry the Carnarium in this deck. Pawn's like, but my, but my Planeswalkers... Man, Agent Treachery is so mean. So mean. All right, how much blue do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. Yeah, actually. I can cut a blue source. So actually, yeah, let's replace Drown Catacomb with Woodland Cemetery. There we go. All right. Making a little change there to the mana base. For some reason, I had 16 blue and 15 green. So switching those, we're going 16 green, 15 blue. So going down to two catacomb, two drowned catacomb, three woodland cemetery. Switching those two numbers. Mm. Probably fine. Go fast. <laughs> there you go. That's nice. You Legions ended a Nissa Forest and you got rid of three forests from their hand. It's a nice four for one there. Hey Solifer. Okay, you play Vraska instead of Immortal Sun? Okay, I can see that. I I can't really say that I I don't know, I've I basically never have Immortal Sun in play ever. So, um, yeah, like it would be good in some matchups, but I basically just never have it in play. So I can't, I can't say that I'm like super thrilled about the card or that I just love the card because it's like never in play. All right, so now we're facing an aggro deck. Hands not the best against aggro, but maybe finality. Yuck. I don't like seeing that card at all. You need more. Say hi to my fiery friends. Guess I could have cast find and play another land war elf. Well, that's not. It's not spectacular. Go get him, buddies. If I would have done that though, then I would have a, a two two to be able to block here, or I would have had I would have the extra land world that I could have just thrown in front of the butcher. Yuck.
Hands a bunch of yuck. But we are drawing two cards a turn. You know, we, we get to stabilize at four here. Make that at one. All right, make that we are basically dead. I don't know why those Grim Initiates were attacking. I don't know what the point of that was. So we need to find Agent of Treachery to steal the Butcher. Your rock wouldn't be bad either for just our life gain stuff. Alright, well that's game. I might have been able to stabilize, maybe, if I would have cast that find the, that other turn whenever we had the five mana. Maybe. Probably not still. Yeah, too many mana creatures. <laughs> That's all we had. Did not have anything else. These aggro decks are what we have been struggling with. Not sure if I want negate or not. We take out a mortal sun, take out a couple agent of treacheries. This fine finality looked way too slow. Let's take that thing out. Um a Neoform, a Quasi-Duplicate, and then just go Spark Double Mirror Image. Basically just kind of trim, trim the fat throughout the whole deck. The reason why I didn't play Finality and then Paradise Druid was because it, it didn't help us out too much with the Grim Initiates. You know, d didn't kill the Grim Initiates. Like, they would still make another creature. We would, we would have taken three. Oh, actually. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, Finality was a lot better. I forgot about how Finality reduced the, the Dreadhorde Butcher's power. So we wouldn't have taken three from the Dreadhorde Butcher if we would have cast Finality. I didn't think of that for some reason. What's up, J-Rock? I was thinking that if I cast Finality that we would have taken a lot of damage from the Butcher anyway. But that's not the case. Drown Catacomb in play. So that if we... This means that if we draw Chupacabra, we can play it. Without without shocking. Good scry. You know what's better than having a plan? That Basically, card is so good. Anything. Go get him, buddy.
We're gonna need to draw a spell besides a mana creature if we're gonna win this. I'm telling the abbots. We didn't do that last game. We're gonna have to do that this game. We're gonna have to find something that's not a mana creature. Thanks so much there, J-Rock. Go get him, buddies. Well then, that's a spell that's not a mana creature. really well. No. Remember this one? No, I don't have any field of the deads. Never mind, doesn't work as well. Darn. I was all excited about being able to play the hostage shaker and cavalier thorns and stuff. I guess I'm gonna get rid of this. I wanted to save that for Butcher, but. New cards, so many cards. Ooh. Certainly hope no shock. Did I give me some spells. Spell. All right, I'll take it. It's not a bad spell. As far as spells go. Well, if you if you play your rock first, then you get two risen reef triggers. If you play your rock second, you get three risen reef triggers. You get an extra trigger by by playing risen reef by getting Risen Reef first. So I got I got that extra card by doing that. Go get him, buddies. Okay. So I was I was planning on sacrificing the Mayhem Devil for Hostage Taker and Hostage Taking the Agent of Treachery. <clears throat> because if you Hostage Taker your own Agent of Treachery, it's like, what is your opponent going to do? They're going to kill your Hostage Taker? Well, then Agent of Treachery comes back into play. If they don't, then you just recast Agent of Treachery the next turn. 
So yeah, so that's that was the plan. I was gonna be able, I was gonna have your rock attack for three life link at the the Chandra, and then sack Mayhem Devil to go get Hostage Taker. It didn't really look like Plague Mare was gonna be that good for like all the cards my opponent played. Plague Mare didn't really didn't look like it would have done anything. We saw like one black removal spell for Veil of Summer. That was kind of about it though. I guess Mayhem Devil triggers. Agent of Treachery is kind of amazing though. Maybe I should like maybe I should play a second. Like, should I play a second Agent of Treachery instead of this Plague Mare? Hmm. Or are we gonna get run over? Yeah, let's do the second agent treachery. Um, I haven't played an Is It Phoenix rotation proof deck, but it's it's probably pretty decent as far as rotation proof decks because basically everything except for like opt in the deck uh, is rotation proof. But that's that's the one that you're really going to struggle with is op not having opt. So, as far as getting Phoenix back into play, that's a pretty vital card there. Charter Course. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Charter Course is never one. I, I forgot about Charter Course. Oh, then Tormenting Voice also? Man, okay. Those are some problems. Good job, Samantha. Way to go. You're in diamond now with playing this deck. Awesome. Good job. Hmm. That's an opponent that did not want to play a... That... I was definitely thinking we were going to play Legion's End and didn't want to play their Priest into it. Can't blame them. Yeah, their hand's not not too good. Hoping they don't draw another cheap creature to pair with this priest of forgotten gods. Next turn we'll hostage taker the priest and recast it. Opponents played perfectly around the cards in my hand in this game. That's okay. Down to nine. The thing we have to be worried about is our life total. Oh, all right. We did it. Three and one. And we rank up. All right. Back to platinum. One more match here. 
with Soul Tide Treachery before we get to our donation decks. <laughs> Opponent got Rectos. <laughs> yeah, I I understand that Mozar. Don't yeah. With we're less than three weeks away now from the new sets and not wanting to waste wild cards on the deck. I I understand that. Hey, what's up, Ari? I hope you you just enjoy uh, enjoy the videos with me playing the deck. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be playing it again on Sunday on our Rank Up Sunday stream. I'm gonna be playing this. I'm gonna be playing the Rakdos Aggro that we played the other day with Ferocidon. Uh, definitely those two. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna play for the other two yet. Oh, I'm gonna play. Oh, I was gonna play the Esper Mill deck that we played on Sunday. I like that deck quite a bit. I think it's pretty strong. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, tune it some more. And I'm going to play that on Sunday also. So we're going to play Esper Mill. And then, not sure about the fourth deck. You know, maybe Vampires. We haven't played Vampires in a super long time. And I like Soren. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the, I'm going to be doing the Jund Brawl deck. Um. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I had like donations to do three different things, and and for the a donation deck, somebody wanted me to, to play brawl and wanted me to play the the Jun deck. So that's what we're doing. And do Jun stuff. Thanks, Nero. Oh no, dinos. Dinos are so big. This is not a good anti-dino hand, that's for sure. We're going to need to find Agent of Treachery for next turn. Ugh. That's really bad. Not lose and brawl. Wow, it's really bad. Why they have to kill our poor risen reef? Okay, so it looks like just just regular old gruel stuff, not jund dinos. Not an agent of treachery. I just had a free block and I threw it away. Um. I feel like my opponent has a lightning strike. And so if I don't make these blocks, I die. Lethal. I survive you. This is going to be pretty tough. We got all these chupacabras, though. Uh, Ceratops can trade with stuff. I don't know. I guess we got to... We got a good amount of, we got we got good stuff. We got good stuff. We just have to have things that are bigger than O three. 
we only have these four cards and lands. So yeah, we had to we had to have some of this end of the deck also. I don't know about the hostage takers; they're kind of slow. But at least they have to use removal on the hostage taker to get their thing back. Um. All right, so this is 61. I don't... I don't think they're playing um, like the the hunt master. This isn't like regular dinos. This is gruel mid range, but they pro they have so they have marauding raptor and mana creatures that legion's end would hit. Marauding Ra like legion's ending marauding raptor is is really good, but I'm not sure if they have a whole lot else to really hit. What if they just had chain whirler? That'd be really bad. Alright, definitely like having the Vanfar. Vanfar can turn, you know, we can get um, Risen Reef there with Paradise Druid, or we can turn Chupacabra into like Cavalier Thorns or your Rock. Go get your rock. I guess I could get Cavalier of Thorns and then have Cavalier then turn Cavalier of Thorns into Moldratha and then recast stuff. Let's let's do that. So that's what we want our deck to do. So they steamrolled us game game one, we steamrolled them game two, and let's see how game three turns out. Here we go. Man, Vanifar is so much fun. Yeah, I wish Muldrotha didn't rotate out also. It's also a really fun card. So I like this deck. It's not only is it is it powerful, it's also just really fun. Hey, Lou. I like our punt's name, the Glorybringer. That was quite the rare. Oh, slow hand. If we just had a... You know, if the Neoform was a mana creature, this would be golden. I think I want to keep this, though. If we don't draw a mana creature, we're probably too slow. But... 
we have seen we can draw mana creatures pretty well. See, look at that. So I liked our chances of drawing a mana creature in two draw steps. To have turn three choop. What am I supposed to chew? I'm gonna kill one of those. I like Brawl. I have I haven't played this this version of I haven't played Brawl yet here like this, this Throne of Eldraine, but I just, I like the format in general. Formats are fun. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play some Brawl. I don't, I don't love, like, pre-constructed pre decks, just, like, in general. I don't really like pre-cons that much, because I like building my own decks. Why, this, which is why I've stayed away from it for the most part. Yeah, battlefields do get really messy in Commander and Brawl. I can see it. I can see disliking that. Ofer. No lands. No lands. Let's try again. All right, so obviously, if the Voracious Hydra attacks were double blocking, getting something back, I guess, you know, it's probably just Agent of Treachery. I think I only have two Agent of Treacheries in the deck right now, I think. I think I took out one. Maybe not. Maybe I have all three. There's two in our graveyard, though. Yay, love that attack. I can't... Yes, I can't. I guess I need to block with Yurok also. Oh, okay. That's fine. I was like trying to think. It's like, how, how are they going to do an extra five points of damage there? Hmm. 
We don't have Moldrotha in here, do we? Nope. Looks like no Moldrothas in here. Oh, this is the Cavalier Thorns trigger. I was like, I was really, I was like, what is going on here? We can't take all of these cards. Um, this is just going to get shuffled back in. Uh, I guess we don't really need two Urox in the graveyard. Start agent treachering stuff, or <laughs> fortunately, we can only play one creature a turn from the graveyard. There's so many good ones. I mean, like Risen Reef, Agent of Treachery. So yeah, we can play one permanent, a card of each permanent type from our graveyard each turn. So we can play like a one land, one creature, one enchantment, one artifact, one planeswalker. But our deck's all just about the creatures. Stabilized. What's up, Rankler? Happy Friday. Oh, yeah, yes, I could have. I could have scried twice if I would have played Yurok first. I I was kind of a little, you know, I was a little slow there. I was debating, I was thinking about just, gra I did the land first because I was thinking about just getting an untapped land and then playing Agent of Treachery, where I didn't have to ta tap the Paradise Druid. Um, but, well, so I did the land first, but while thinking about that, I changed my mind and decided to go with Yurok, and, and at that point, uh, we could just get the scry land, but... So, well, I think we were already doing just fine. But, yeah, a uh, better sequence would have been grab your rock first and then play Scry Land and you get to Scry twice. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that was a good showing there. Uh, you know, 4-1 after that first loss um, that, uh, that we got a little unlucky on. But, um, yeah, deck still felt really good. Never didn't really do anything with the Mortal Sun there. Um, but... I'm, I'm glad we had the Assassin's Trophies, even though we never cast them, I don't think. I don't think we ever cast an Assassin's Trophy, but I'm glad we had those. And, yeah, our deck our deck just felt good. Like, this is just a fun deck to play. Um, and we got to do just a whole lot of fun stuff, because this deck is sweet. So, we're glad that we got to rebound, though. Um, if you've been watching this deck, this is the fourth time now we played it, and we had, like, good record good record and then we had the bad record last time and now we rebounded for another good record so um because it was like four so we went four two four one and then one four and then four one again so rebounded from that last time i'm glad to see our deck do that um we made made the little change with the mana base which i think which i think will help i think i i was i was off one on the mana base there we need an extra green source so we changed that up um but yeah there we go. That's Soul Tide Treachery. So good rank up session there. We will play it again on Sunday, on Rank Up Sunday. So on Sunday, we'll be play, We'll rank up with this deck. We're going to play the Esper Mill deck that we played last Sunday. Um, I enjoyed that deck, and I think that's pretty strong. So we'll play that on Rank Up Sunday. And then the uh, Rakdos Aggro with Ferocidon that we played the other day. That deck looked really strong, and I want to play more Ferocidon. So we're definitely playing those three decks on Sunday. I'm not sure what our other deck will be, but... Um, you know, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you want to stop by the stream on for Rank Up Sunday. I always stream from 3 to 10 Eastern, by the way. Um, but that's the next time that we'll play Soul Tide Treachery. But until then, uh, if you're watching over there, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. Also, leave comments. I love seeing the, the comments over there on the YouTube channel. So 
you know, let me know what you think about the deck and, and everything like that. And just, um, you know, feel free to ask questions and all that kind of stuff. But thanks for watching Soul Tide Treachery, and I'll see you for the next video.